Well, it's Friday, the 31st. Tonight's New Year's. And I am getting ready to go to Vine Grove, which is about 10, well, where I'm going to is about 15, 20 minutes from me. Depending on traffic, stoplights, and everything else. And I'm going to be purchasing me an old fashioned metal bed. I have one similar to it. It was my great grandmother's bed. And people are all the time, they're like, well, how do you and your wife sleep on that little beady ass bed? And a lot of times what I tell them is, is, well, me and my wife aren't 400 pounds each. So, we can fit on our, our double bed very, very easy. Now, if I was 400 something pounds like some people I know, uh, then, yeah, it'd be pretty damn difficult to sleep on a little bitty ass bed like that. But, since we are skinny compared to some people that I know, we fit very easy on the bed. But, uh, the bed's a little rough, it's a little rusty, kind of gunky looking. Uh, definitely needs some work to it, which is why I don't mind getting it. Because it'll keep me busy whenever I'm not doing something else. Because I'm definitely going to have to sand it down as best as possible. And then on top of it, I'm going to have to clear, oh, primer it, coat it, primer it again. And then find a color that uh, I want to spray it. I'd, I would love to find like an old-fashioned kind of color that people used to use a long time ago but then that would require uh, getting a certain air compressor and paint sprayer and all kinds of other things and uh, well I don't have all that kind of equipment so I'm, I'm just gonna have to find me a spray color from a spray can that I like and shoot it that way because the only person I know that uh, paints like professional wise lives up in Louisville and it'd be a kind of it'd be, it'd, it'd be more of a pain in the ass trying to take it to him to get it painted or having him bring his stuff down here to paint it. So, to keep the monotony at bay, I'll just buy me a can of spray paint somewhere and get by a few cans of it and spray paint the bed. Now, I know some of y'all are probably thinking, why do you want an old-fashioned full-size bed when you can go out and buy any size bed you want for, for about the same price. That's correct, I could. But, I, I feel, and since I have my great-grandmother's metal bed, the same, same style variation, my bed is probably a hundred and, well, let's see. My bed is gonna get my bed's getting ready to be a hundred and eight years old. And it still functions as a bed. With the original Springer that came with the bed. When I say Springer, I don't mean these cheap little cardboard and wood instruction things they have now they call uh, uh, your box spring, so so to say. I actually have a steel frame with steel cools and springs and all kinds of stuff 
and it fits into the bed frame which doesn't require bed slats and then on top of it you just put your mattress on top of that and think of a trampoline with padding and that's about what it's like <clears throat> and there's a lot of my friends I'm like I'm like man I said why don't you just come up here and uh, lay on this bed for a second or sit on the side of this bed and I said y you'll see the difference between the old stuff and the new stuff and some of them will sit on that thing and they're like man that thing is so comfy and springy it's crazy and I'm like yeah it is so that's why I have it for that's why when I get my next full-size bed I'm gonna have a springer just like I have on mine that's outside after the bed gets fixed up put it on it and I'll have a springer as well on the bed that's gonna be going on the back porch because after we build the back porch and enclose it that bed's gonna be put up set up and it's gonna be on the back porch so that way in the say in the spring summer and fall if we have company over we're like well we don't really have a room for you in the house but you know there's a bed out here on the back porch you know I know it's gonna sound kind of rednecky in country but it is what it is because that's what I used to have whenever uh, I used to visit certain relatives uh, a long time ago because they really didn't have the room in the house so what they did was they had a bed built up either on the front porch or the back porch of course it was screened in and uh, that's where you slept at night time so I'm just keeping old habits and traditions alive and then on top of it um, you know the back porch is going to be actually enclosed so it's not it's not going to be like well you know you're just going to be sleeping on the porch with nothing around you you know there you are going to have comfort you know a four walls and a roof over you so but I can't wait to get this bed I've been I've been hunting and packing and searching and everything for a long time for a bed like this and uh I found a few of them online like through Facebook marketplace but hell they were like up in Indiana or Illinois or down in Tennessee and uh, they were just too far for me to go to retrieve it so I was like I saw this one here and the guy's only asking 30 bucks for it I'm like hell yeah I'll buy some bitch in a heartbeat I got and I, of course I told him I said I can't do it because it, I, I, I messaged him a couple of days ago and I said um, I said due to the circumstances right now I said uh, we're down to one vehicle the wife's car's down so she's using my vehicle and I said uh, it probably won't be till about Saturday before I come and get it and he said how about Friday and I said well I could probably do Friday so here I am going to Vine Grove to buy me a $30 bed an old-fashioned metal bed if I had to guess the age of this bed I'd say it's somewhere ballparkish uh, probably the 20s ish maybe 30s but uh but still I mean I don't care because I know these kind of beds, you know, unless it's rusted all the way through, it's worth the 30 bucks I'm getting ready to spend on it, and then some. So, I do not mind whatsoever. I'm actually tickled pink, because... I got a bed like this a long time ago. I bought it from a friend of mine. And uh, I had it for a while. And something, something took place to where 
so what for whatever reason I sold it and I kicked myself in the ass the day they came and got it from me and uh, but yeah I just I've been searching since to find one and now I found one and I'd be hell bent and hook and crook if I don't go get it because there was one time I was going to get a bed similar to this and uh, I couldn't, I wasn't able to get it right away when I could have gotten it and uh, the person already sold it and the person they sold it to, I, I, I don't want to say I knew them but I knew of them and they took that, that bed that I was wanting to buy from them and they stuck it out in their yard and pour dirt around it and put pliers in it. They're like, they're like, oh look, we got a flower bed, ha ah, ha ha, like that. Now it's just sick to my stomach because they took a a really old piece of furniture like that and just stuck it outside to basically rot in the elements. And oh, it made me sick. But you no, know, I could have, I, I had a chance to get it, but I wasn't able to at the time. So. You know, it is what it is. That's why I make sure this time that uh, I am able to go retrieve it. And by hook or crook or hell or high water, by goodness, I'm getting it today. I had to write the directions down on a piece of cardboard next to me. Well, it's not really, it's cardboard, but it's not like the cardboard you're thinking of. It's a packing insert. And, uh, because I don't have GPS and I don't have a cell phone. And that's one thing I wish I did have a cell phone for, was for, like, the GPS. So that I can just type in certain things and, you know, it'll tell me exactly where to go and everything else. But, you know, with this here, uh... Mm -hmm. I've been through here, this old area here enough times, I pretty much know where in the hell I'm going, so it's not a, a big issue. There's First Street, across the train tracks. Turn on 391. Brown Street, turn right on Brown Street. Three ninety ones up here, which should be High Road. I believe it's High Road. Turned on the wrong street. I think I did. I think I did. Nope, there it is. There's Mr. Red Roof. Where's it? This one. 309. Yep. You know what? Ain't no traffic coming. I'm just going to do this way. Do my old tractor trailer driving skills. Do a back up. Like a blind side backing. But not really blind side because I'm looking at my ass end. Right here, we'll be done. 